Hey everybody, this is Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. We are review, uh, reviewing the SPX trade for Wednesday, August uh, 14th. And as you know, the S&P went down by 80 points. Uh, the worst uh, uh, price action uh, for the year uh, was yesterday. And uh, you can see the market started uh, at, at, at a much, much lower level from the previous day. And so, you know, you're waiting for a bearish trade and that comes right here. Once you see the third dot, yeah, there's a little bit one green dot, but you don't get faded by that. And so from this level onwards, which is about 28.75, you're going through both these green dots and all the way till here, uh, till this second green dot. That's the, uh, that's the time you exit. So if you exit it somewhere there, that's 28.58, which is a 17 point move on the S&P. And so that would be a five to six thousand dollar trade right there. And once again, once you have a trade like this, when you have a 17 point trade, you don't need to worry about some of the smaller ones. There could be a couple of smaller ones right here and especially towards the close when it closed at the lows. But uh, regardless, once you have a trade like this, uh, you know, you're set for the day. So this is as far as the SPX ticks. Uh, if you've been following the videos of the last few days, uh, each of these days have been blockbuster days in terms of uh, the SPX because there have been huge moves, whether it is to the upside or to the downside. And each of these trades, just on a five contract, 30, 35 delta position, uh, you would have made anywhere of upside from, from five to seven to even $10,000 on one particular day, uh, given the ticks as well as the custom RSI. Thank you. The SPX ticks as well as the custom RSI are uh, custom indicators and algos. If you have any questions, you can go to this bit.ly link, uh, bit.ly slash SPX algo, and you can find more information on how to get these indicators. Thank you.